Hey guys, Raiden here, and we're back with some more of the Witcher 2 Enhanced Edition. Or Special Edition, or whatever edition it is. As I promised, we were going to go talk to Zoltan and friends. But I want to see what these green dots are. Hey, handsome. Oh, hi. Um, I didn't really want to come over here. I want to- I don't know what these mean. They- they're making me curious. Welcome to my modest shop. What do you deal in? All kinds of incense, mainly. For meditation, rejuvenation, cooking, making medicine, rituals, whatever you require. Okay. Well, maybe he has the ingredient I need for that sword. Sorry if I'm sounding a little obsessive about it. I just really want to see it. It looks like it does so much damage. White myrtle petals. Nope. You have nothing I want. Well, see you later. Okay, well, I'll actually go inside now. Because I'm really curious what these two have been up to. It's so nice that Zoltan doesn't look super bug-eyed and scary anymore. Look like you're having quite the drink. Just don't start any brawls. Peace and quiet. Get it? Of course. I've got my eye on you. Okay. Oh, uh, yes. Just like the other ones in The Witcher 1. They're the same inventory. Okay, where are the people I need to... Oh, they're sitting right here. And Vernon looks like he's asleep. You look strong. Care for the little contest? Why not? How does arm wrestling work? I'll just bet five, because I don't know... Keep the indicator in the yellow field. If the yellow field... How do I do that? Too strong for me. Here's what you're owed. You ought to give Wiry Wilkes a shot. Who? Wiry Wilkes. This seems like some sort of short quest line. And I'll finish it before I talk to them. You'll not have an easy time with me. Uh, as you say. It's probably going to be a lot harder. I don't know if there's any stats that actually help out with this. Maybe there's a skill? Because I remember in Witcher 1, there was indeed a Strong skill that helped you out with brawling. Here's your coin. You should take on Big Max. Oh my goodness, stop doing this. Who is Big Max? Oh, it's this guy right here. You're a strong lad, but. Let's do it. Let's bet all we got. We have way more than 30 orange, but you know what? See how hard this is. Okay, it's a little more difficult. Because this dude's pretty tough. He's pretty tough, but we can take him. And we got him. Another 30 orins is Vale patters his balls. You're strong. <laughs> You're winnings. There's someone else. No one's beaten him yet. Who? Bartholomew Bargy. You'll find him in the village. Well, if I ever Welcome. see him, I will be sure to... Triss. How's it living with Roach's soldiers? Splendid. I know every shit joke that anyone's ever thought up. Plus, I've learned how to burp out the official title of the Emperor of Nilfgaard without reaching for beer. Shorty's told me about his 16 children, all named after Temerian Troop Division. <laughs> and I know his nickname has nothing to do with his manhood. Nice to know that you care, though. Glad to see you in a good mood. I think I actually like them. They're good people. One of them even proposed to me. Who's the brave man? <laughs> Sorry, that's a secret. And here I thought Roach's boys had an ounce of respect for me. <laughs> I guess not. The massacre in Rivia. It came back to me, I remember. The angry mob murdering non-humans. A young boy with a pitchfork. Anything else? Death. Or a state close to it, I'm not sure. I felt life draining out of me. Uh, I was there. I arrived a moment later. 
too. Don't worry, Triss. They're only memories. We have bigger problems to tackle now. Something tells me that in recovering my memory, I'll find out a lot about what we're dealing with now. Yeah, I feel like that's going to help out too. Anyway, see you later, Triss. I'm gonna finally talk to this table. Ha <laughs> Damn, that was close! Inkeep! Vodka! Triss Merigold! Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be all right. Good to see you in your beard again. <laughs> Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. That got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Foltest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltest died. And the dragon, was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. All right. Triss, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbleton, Count Merivale, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. And? Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. That sounds like <laughs> politics. Humans. In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. Two poisonings? Looks like picking a new king's going well. Where were the mages? Hi. Where were the grey eminences of this world when they were truly needed? They weren't invited. Neither was I. But if not for their intervention, or rather that of a few influential sorceresses, Baron Kimbolt would have taken the throne. I was invited to sing at his court once. Afterwards, he refused to pay me, and the food was awful. No way I'll stay in Temeria if he's crowned. Oh, that, that's cool, Dandelion. Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John Natalis remains our only hope. Ah, the victor at Brenna, and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. And during the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lavalette Lambs, with an additional 2,000 armed men in tow. He's to keep the peace until a rightful monarch is chosen. He could find that ruling is to his liking. Natalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. Why, well, a tenuous one, sure, but that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart as sorceress holds a significant ah. stake. So, Philippa is one of the major sorceresses and the Witcher. There are several, the ones that I remember the most being Triss, Yennefer, and Philippa. I don't know if we get to meet Philippa in this game, but she has a pretty cool owl trick that I hope we get to see. Anyways, that's enough politics for now. I think I've heard enough about politics. So, about the whole me killing the king thing... Foltest killer lay in wait in the tower, where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute, what were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. How did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorvith Scoyatel were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Yep. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! The beast? We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. Someone's casting spells. Well, some what?
What sort of sorceress are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast <laughs> nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. Where's uh -huh. this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Oh Let's my say, goodness, shut up. I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. Uh, as much as I just want to yell at this dude, I'm more curious about what that was. All right. What happened? I came to Flotsam to kill the Kairon. Kairon? The monster that has effectively blocked the port. A moment ago, I had the good fortune to see it in all its splendor, but the local folk scared it away. Good fortune? You hear that, Sozek? That was some good fortune for you. Why is the beast in the port all of a sudden, eh? Summoned by the witch, perchance? To see it in all its splendor. I'm tired of your whining. Get out of here. Ah, oh, as ever. It's the common folk that get ploughed. Come on, lads! Yes, please leave. I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairn. The beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? Depends. Is there money? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My <laughs> way or the highway, as the locals put it. Geralt's expression Fine. was perfect. No way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Okay, then. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? And her? I Sheila want... Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Kairan was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold. Sharp as ever. I was hoping that You're she was Philippa. Bad. Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood, all those disgusting marvels we take from dying species. To throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt. You saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. <laughs> Very true. Correct. Cedric claims the Kairan emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. Yep. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there. On the upper floor. You know the inn's also a whorehouse. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> Oh, all right. We've already talked to her. We'd best get to work. The to yeah, we probably mason. should. You learn a trade, gain okay then. I've always preferred the wandering life. Meet new people, beat some of them up. <laughs> Don't tell me you like it here. Not really. It's a shithole, but plenty of folk to beat up. What an interesting life. Anyways. I couldn't imagine fighting a Karen. Without a silver sword. And we are missing one right now. But apparently our first job, our first order of business is to talk to the merchants on the waterfront. Sorry, I'm just looking for 
neat things. Anyways, let's go and look for that then. It looks as if there's a place on the map that's telling us where to look. Or that could just be north. No, there's something over here. So why don't we go take a look? I was really hoping that'd be Philippa, but I started doubting it when I realized how non-playful she was. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a merchant. Okay. What do you want? Heard you have a problem. Ah, if only we had just one. Highways washed out, forests full of bandits, a river beast blocks the port, and tolls are to rise. Don't Can't worry. Help the tolls, but the monster's a possibility. A sorceress said the same, but we've yet to see any results. She's asked me to work with her. And who's to pay your wage? That's what I'm here to discuss. The sorceress was to manage a loan. You can split that reward if you wish. Double the fee and I'm in? Well, we're managing it together now. So as I see it, you should double the reward. <laughs> you jest! Do I? You'll double what you offered Lady de Tanzerville, because that's what the contract's worth. Please tell me this'll work. So be it. I assume you to be professionals and worth every last copper paid to you. Good! It's a deal. Now tell me what you know about the beast. You're the Witcher, damn it! I've no knowledge <laughs> of these things. Who could tell me more? That Good point. plowing elf, Cedric, most probably. He's supposed to know all about monsters. Yeah, he's the second him. person to In recommend the village, Cedric. Outside the walls. Now leave me be. What do you want me to do? Shit a sheep. Welcome. Like a well, he's a merchant. Can't he sell things? Well, there's one over here. People! The mutant's pursuing me! Okay, then. It says that someone's selling things over. Oh, awesome. He's selling some stuff. Diagrams? Oh, he's selling a silver sword. And a cutlass. Damn, both of these look pretty promising. And some really nice armor. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? As much as I like this cutlass, we have that way better one that we can craft with Andriga Venom. And to kill Andrigas, we need a silver sword, of course. So I'm gonna buy the silver sword. And I'm gonna purchase this armor. Trade what? What? Do we have any more junk? We have rags. Wait, what? What is it saying trade? Did I accidentally sell something? I hope not. Insufficient funds? Oh, that armor is pretty expensive. Alright, well, we'll save up for that. We'll save up for that. I'm glad I didn't put anything in this armor. Because... Well, now I know there's going to be another one. Anyways, I think that's about all he has for us in terms of things that are important. There's quite a few potions we can pick up. Uh, there's a diagram for just oil. That might be important. I don't, I don't know what's important yet, really. But we'll figure it out. Thanks for doing business. New phase, the sword for monsters. Oh, that was actually part of our quest was to get a sword. So we did that. And we now have a silver sword. I want to take a look at it and see what it looks like soon. And we can also level up. So let's take this out. Sheath your Dragon. sword before the guards react. Understood. Oh wow, they react to me. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't don't worry about it. Okay, well, sorry guys, I'm just trying to remember the controls. Oops. Chill, 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 chill. I'm just gonna meditate. There we go. Okay, so we have three talents. Uh, the swordsmanship path is still locked, so we're not gonna be able to do that. But we can get plus 50 vi uh, vitality. And Vigor Regen seems pretty useful. 
But I've heard parrying is pretty good, so you know what we're going to do? We are going to go straight for level 2 parry. Because that allows us to uh, parry blows from all directions. Damage reduction while parrying with full vigor is 100%. Now, I was misinformed, not really misinformed, I just kind of assumed that what vigor was is something, or not vigor, that what parrying was, is it was a parry like in Bayonetta, where it's something where you block an attack and then recoil, or something like that, but it's really just blocking. As its official term. Okay. Help! Help? Help with what from what? Anyways, we have a map to look at. So, or not the map, I want to read these journal entries. See, we have the K- Oh my goodness, this is a lot. Okay, so these we've completed. I don't see a huge reason to read them. I'll make sure to read these things more frequently in the future. With the silver sword in hand at last, Geralt's job has become incomparably easier. Yeah, you bet. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Assassins of Kings, just outside Floatsum, Geralt saw Foltest murder once more. The assassin was in company of Yorvith, the commander of the Squatel unit. This was surely no coincidence, and as it would turn out later, the encounter was deliberately staged indeed. From that moment on, the Witcher began to wonder if he could use the Elven leader to get to the Assassin. Uh, bring it on Floatsum. Through it was perhaps one of the less celebrated episodes of the Witcher's career. Know that while in Floatsum, Geralt managed to best skinny Sten. With the modest achievement under his belt, he would face work, uh, Weary Wilkes. It did not take long for Weary Wilkes, a man seemingly woven of sinews alone, to blow the strength of the Witcher's arm. Okay, so that's that's the arm wrestling. Troll Trouble. In practicing their trade, Witchers abide by a code that clearly explains what they can and cannot do. Geralt claims he invented this code himself to have an excuse for refusing unwanted jobs. But I think such a stratagem would be too complicated for him. Either way, Geralt noticed that... Bernard Laredo has posted a bounty on a head of a troll living in the area. Because a troll is a sapient creature, it falls under the code as huntable only if evil. The curious witcher decided to check it out. So there might be a way to reason with this troll then? Since not all of them are evil. Andriga contract. Okay, yes, we know about those. Neckers. The Chiron. Uh, indeed, it was what the people had said. The unlucky victim lay on the pier... A riled crowd surrounded him and was commenting on the events. Among the onlookers stood the sorceress Sil de Tanzerville. The Witcher and the sorceress exchanged a few words before she asked Geralt to help him in hunting down. Okay, yeah, we know. Indecent proposal. When the dust at the gallows has settled, Lorito invited Geralt for a talk. Even if we ignore the fact that Witchers, like Trevadors and Scholars, never refuse free board. It was a good occasion to feel out the commander. Girl accepted the... Okay. Well, there's several things we can do, but I want to talk to that elf first. Because he seems like he might have a decent idea of what is going on around here. So I want to... I really kind of want to deal with the Karen first. Because I don't think the Karen. Oh... Maybe the Karen will lead to something much bigger? There is no tracking on the map, is there? I don't know, I haven't looked at the map. Let's do that. No? No, none at all. How in the world am I supposed to know where to go? Uh, passing along the waterfront, the Witcher approached the merchant who was willing to pay. They were like haggling. Well, I suppose we could just talk to him again and ask where this elf is, because I have no clue, and I don't see any place on the map. The mutants pursuing me! Okay, chill. Careful with those swords. They pinch my ass and don't even leave a tip. Damn it! The moral downfall embodies. Oh yeah, so he has nothing to say to me. Um... Let's go kill some monsters! <laughs> Are they pretending to be a witcher? Do they think it's really cool? I'm a witcher! Hi-ya! <laughs> Alright. 
Well, he was doing what witchers do. He was sitting around picking well, up plants well. while yelling. I had an inkling and it didn't disappoint me. It was a long voyage to this cesspit, but it's about to make sense. Excuse me? Killer, live and in uh -oh. person. How are you? Happy and healthy? Can't complain. I am delighted, really. But you see, it's a long way back to Vasima, and I'd rather not dawdle. I lost a load of time looking for you. No reason to waste any more talking, then. Bon voyage. Listen, Jester. <laughs> You're worth more to me alive. But if need be, I will take you back as a corpse. You choose. All right. Give it a shot. Drop your sword and put your hands together, or I'll not vouch for what... Shut up. Go ahead. Try to kill me. We've got Shoot. A man okay, here. okay. Looks like we're in a scuffle already. Maybe I can get the guards to help, like in the old ones. Or are they not following me that far? Because I'll take any advantage I can get. Guards! Come quickly! Oh, they won't leave the area. I think my game just froze. Shit. 